Hello everybody, Russ Elkins here with Clips of Tips. Today we're going to do a skin softening. Let's begin. I want to replicate my background layer by pressing Command J or Control J if you're on a PC. I want to invert that layer by pressing Command I or Control I. I'm going to change its blend mode from normal to vivid light. Next, I want to convert this filter to convert for smart filters. You can see the little square down in the corner of the layer letting me know that it's a smart filter. Now I'm going to go filter, other, high pass. And I'm going to leave my radius at 16. I'm going to add another filter, which is going to be a Gaussian blur. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'll leave that at a radius of 4. So let's go take a look at the image with the blur layer on top. And you can see that the image has texture. And that texture is added from the Gaussian blur. Because the layer is inverted, the Gaussian blur actually adds texture. Normally, a high-pass filter would add texture. So let's look. At the without the Gaussian blur you can see there's no texture and then if we add the Gaussian blur the texture comes back so now what we want to do is we want to create a layer mask and invert it to make it black by pressing the option key or alt key and pressing on your layer mask icon which creates a black layer mask I'm going to go to my brush tool which is white to reveal the later, I typically paint, paint with a flow of anywhere between 4 and 10%. And we're just going to start painting to apply the softening to the skin. You want to stay off of, uh, away from hair and eyebrows and eyes and only soften skin. And let's get a little smaller brush, a little bigger than that. There you have it. We stayed away from the lips as well. So we'll zoom out and take a look at our before and our after. And let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at our before and our after. Thank you for watching this Clips of Tips.